know, go off to OSU college and he got into the engineering school and mm. you know, he did awesome. But I'm like, oh, he's not ready. I just know he's not ready. Um, but he went and mm-hmm. turned out he came back about mid-year because he wasn't ready. Uh-huh. But I was really hard on my son that he was, um, he was, um, you know, because basically there's a lot of shame with that. He had to come back, you know, I mean, mm-hmm. he dropped, his grade point average is still good, but he dropped classes before it turned turned into something yeah, bad uh-huh. and he really had to come back home but it was like no okay that's okay you learn yeah. some things here so now we're going to go to local college and you're going you know you just go learn some more things and how to right. do college and he did he was very successful so that's so there's great. always one who's the one that's going to learn by experience um but yeah. i think it's trying to make it so that you're not you know you try to make things so they can learn to cope you know when they're in college yes. or, mm-hmm. or whatever you're doing down the road i think that's that's a real important goal Yeah. Yeah. I know you wanted to touch on a little bit, um, home college for teens and adults. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Hey, um, is that something you guys have talked about at all? We haven't really. No. Mm -mm. This is something that's, it's, it's, you can take this concept sort of far or you can, well, um, basically there's a whole concept behind it. So, so a lot of times people know about like you can do college online. Okay. So, so that, that's still where you're, um, you know, you're, you're part of that school, you're just taking online classes, you just do it at home instead of going to school. So that's mm-hmm. not necessarily what I'm talking about. So home college is sort of a continuation of homeschooling. So homeschooling is 12th grade and under, home college mm-hmm. would be advanced beyond that. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is ways where you sort of can design your own college program. Now, you can either go the accredited route, which will get an accredited degree, Mm. Or you can go a non-accredited route where you're doing things just for your own person. Um, right. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I see. Who shall I use for an example? Um, so um, I just use my, my middle daughter. So she um, this is, is too extreme to this. So so um, basically, she she was one who got really bored in homeschooling. She she got to the point where she mm. would do hardly anything. And I'm like, what is wrong? I couldn't figure out what was wrong. And what turned out to be is that That's my middle child. child. It must be a middle child thing. I tried to punish her. Well, that didn't work. She just didn't care. She yeah. just didn't mm-hmm. do anything. You know, she, she just, I was like, what do I do? It turned out she was bored. Okay. So mm-hmm. even though I was trying to give her challenging things in high homeschooling, it wasn't enough. So, I mean, we just put her into college classes. So, so what we would do mm-hmm. is, um, it, okay. So what I mean by that is um, there's way different ways of getting college credit. Okay, so let's just talk about doing it the accredited route first. Okay, so okay. this is when we do not sign up to go to a, a, a specific college at, 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 um, on the onset. So you mm-hmm. might do things like CLEP tests. Are you guys familiar yes. with that? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. CLEP tests is basically where you study a subject and you just go take a test and you get into the get... credits. Right. Usually mm-hmm. college, when my kids were doing it, it was about $100. Mm-hmm. So three or six credits. I mean, that is like really phenomenal. Yeah, there's whole organizations in the homeschooling realm yes. that does do those so yes. you don't have to look so, very so, far. Mm-hmm. so they so she and my son were both really good test takers so they did a lot of credits that mm-hmm. way mm-hmm. um my daughter um so we actually um put her um i had her take um german at the local community college uh for her first year and then the second year she actually did in germany as a 16 year old um, oh. for, for the summer so she went and mm-hmm. did that and that was with another school um, so, she, so basically she did different learning experiences on uh, so some things she took at a college, some things were online. She did a lot mm-hmm. of things through Liberty University, which uh, Liberty University is a Christian school, but yep. you don't have to be mm-hmm. a Christian to go there. Um, and they have a very lenient transfer policy. So you can oh, have like about that. three quarters mm-hmm. of your credits can be from somewhere else. Wow. And only a quarter has to be taken huh. from them. So it's hmm. really awesome. So they, this is a very yeah. liberal, accepting claps, accepting mm. things from all different places. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. my, well, my third daughter, uh, she ended up like, I mean, she didn't want to take the typical histories. Um, so she she did like archaeology, and I forgot what the other one was. But but, hmm. but those counted and transferred in as, as right. a history. Huh. Um, so you can take the award classes you want from anywhere, really in the world. Hmm. So the world is open to you to take these classes anywhere, but you need to make sure they transfer someplace um, right. your, your endpoint college will accept them. Mm-hmm. So Liberty is a big one for that. And there's also another school called Thomas Edison. It used to be State College. I think it's now called State University. But Thomas okay. Edison is another one that accepts mm-hmm. um, uh, um, 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 a, lot, a lot of credits, diverse mm-hmm. credits, um, different places, and you just take a small amount there. Mm-hmm. So um, so basically, that's what they both did. Um, um, and my, both my girls did that. They, um, they were I mean, I'm trying to explain this, but, but um, 
the things got transferred in just, just you know very well with them. Um, and so they ended up getting an accredited degree. So um, okay. Um, and so so that's what we're but basically so a lot of things you're sort of planning on your own. But so I'm, but basically I'm acting as their guidance counselor mm-hmm. and help them with credit. So. Uh, <laughs>